morning folks chores are done now it's time to start corn climbed up on the bin opened the lid now we're gonna we're gonna hop in this tractor fit a little cone about this big and a hole this big 40 feet up in the air and 80 feet away see if we get it on the first try Eighty one foot, one inch at a time. So for fine adjustment, we like to put in air and take out air to get it perfect. Auger's up in the bin. Walker on the auger works, which is very important because that thing is a heavy son of a gun. Next, we're gonna get hooked on to the header cart, drive over to that field, and I guess give it a poke. Morning. How are you? Good. So today is Monday and right now our goal is to get the bin that we just put that auger up to full before Thursday. And why is that? Because all of a sudden we got a chance for two to three inches of rain. I mean we want to get that full because in the back of that farm there it's hard getting around with a truck once it gets wet. Also if we don't get it full before that rain then we're going to have to take the auger down and put it back up which is just a little headache you know it takes 10-15 minutes but it's one of those things you don't want to deal with so yeah we just really want to get that bin full and then it can rain then it'll take a couple days and we'll get back in the field some really simple math when it comes to the corn you can figure for every two kernels per square foot you see it's about a bushel an acre that you're missing because there's close to 80,000 kernels per bushel and there's 43,560 square feet in an acre just some simple math there for you what we can see is it's getting all the kernels off the cob and there are a couple kernels on the ground but it ain't bad that's pretty clean actually In some of our poorer soil spots, we have some ugly looking stuff going on. You can see we got down corn. Now it, it isn't widespread, but the nice thing is it laid pretty much perpendicular to the row. And so our snoots should come in here and pick a lot of that up. Yeah, it's kind of ugly. I mean, just, it's been a heck of a year. Just look at these leaves on this standing corn. They're so stripped up. It was just a tough year. This corn battled, it is bruised. But like I said, there's just a couple small spots like this. Most of the field looks like it's standing well. And that's why dad wanted to start in this field, get a lot of this combined before more of it goes down. We're gonna dump and then calibrate, make sure that yield monitor knows what it's talking about. What's really nice, it sometimes happens, I suppose it should happen 50% of the time. I have more weight in here than the combine thinks it has harvested 
which is fun because then the yield monitor was wrong, it was low, and we get to bump it up. Versus, we have less in here than the combine thinks it's harvested. So then, you know, say you're getting 150 bushel and it drops down, and you're like, ah, that's a bummer. Combine says about 26,000 pounds, and we got 28,000, so the yield's better than the monitor says. That's gotta be a record, you think? It was 1,800 on the other end. Something going wrong there, but. We're getting 1,147 bushels an acre, says the yield monitor. Take that, Randy Doughty. Yeah, right. how about it? Got the first load of the dry corn out. Now this field is notorious for sandburrs. I got one in the yeah, 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 yeah. Those are lovely. Truckload three is full. Mother just dropped off some lunch. She doesn't have work today. some coleslaw. I like it because my name's in it. We got a cookie. Oh, I like sugar. Oh, it's roast, but thanks. You know, you make roast in a crock pot a lot of the time. And when we were little, my brother coined the term ick pot. None of us like roast come home from school. Guess what's sitting on the stove? Egg pot. It wasn't just slaw. We got cottage cheese on the left, slaw on the right, with a big piece of, is that Colby?
little reminder that our Sunny Farms beef is available uh, as of October 14th. The website is up. You're able to pre-buy it. Then I'm actually taking the critters in November 9th and delivery we're looking at mid December. As I'm saying this, it's possible that we're already sold out. There's only about 200 boxes of beef that are available, will be available. So all you got to do is go to farmergrade.com, uh, find the part where there's some uh, beef for sale. One box has a couple slices of steak with uh, ground beef and then the other box is just straight ground beef. Tiffany is here. That's a lot of snacks. You said it's all for you. Oh man. <laughs> You've heard of children of the corn, now it's dogs of the corn. Where'd they come from? <laughs> you always wanted a dog. Farm dog? Yeah, let's bring him home. Hop in the cab, Skipper. I'm thinking biscuit. Hello. <laughs> he just smacked his head on a corn cob. What did you do today? I woke up. I went to Mitchell. Bought some groceries because we had snacks. We need more snacks. And then went home and. <laughs> Amazon dropped off a package, so I had to put For that you? Okay. I guess it's more of like a house package, I'd say. Um, so you ordered it? Well, yeah. Uh -huh. um, so I put Decoration? that- Decoration? No. I think of it as an investment. You'll see it in the garage. I doubt it. <laughs> I was not gonna tell you. Is this gonna make us money? Well, no. Okay, so it's not an investment. For me, it is. Is it gonna make you money? No. So it's not an investment? Well, <laughs> you always complain about how many shoes I have. So you bought something to organize shoes. And get more. And get more shoes? It's eight tiers. So you shoes. bought this so you can get more shoes. Or get rid and of And you're shoes. telling me it's an investment. For me. For my wardrobe. <laughs> I don't understand the logic. I saw it and I'm like, this is gonna, I don't know. I just saw it, I saw it and I was like, we need this. And so I bought it, I put it together. I wasn't gonna tell you about it and see how long it took you to notice it in the uh -huh. garage. Mm -hmm. Now we have a spot for all our shoes. Your shoes. Your shoes are on there. <laughs> <laughs> 12 more rows and the first dry field of the year is done. We couldn't have done it without you. You're welcome. What are you gonna do when I go back to work tomorrow? I'm not harvest corn, obviously. Clearly. What do we, I don't know. You got lunch from Tammy, you got snacks from me today. I guess we're gonna have to just sit around and go hungry tomorrow. I think so too, time to close up shop. There might be some critters running out of this. It's always fun to watch the last pass. Usually a couple rabbits, maybe a pheasant or two.
Oh, it's disappointing. Either there was none or they went that way. Which ain't, ain't a good way to go. Corner of this field looks a lot more stout, stronger, taller, yielding a little bit better. It's a lot more fun to watch go through the header. Here's one of those bad spots. Look at all that. That's pretty devastating if you can't pick it up. But as you can see, perpendicular with the row and we can pick that up. And obviously that continued into this next swath we took. So let's take a look here. No corn in there, no corn in there. Not seeing it on the ground. So we got lucky that corn head is still able to pick all that stuff up off the ground. This is the only field that we have to farm around some poles. And this one, you can see it's marked with red right there. I'm guessing they need to, re they're planning on replacing it because that's, that looks like just a toothpick. Been whittled away by our hail and our dusty winds for years. That thing is unbelievable, it's still standing. We're gonna finish up fill and load 17 on the day. I'm gonna quit for the night, but I will give you the song of the day by Blackfoot. It's a really good rocking song, gets you going, called Train Train. Well, everybody, thanks for watching. Love to see you next time. Have a good one. Ah, here's the investment she was talking about. <laughs>